Okay, y'all, it's a new week. Actually, it's now, what, fucking Thursday. But like I told y'all, the grind don't stop, honey. Just had my Emmy. Let's see if I can show y'all my outfit. I look stupid, but whatever. It was an interview, okay? Let me see if I can prop the phone up and show y'all what I'm working with, baby. I can't. <laughs> okay, well, that's the outfit. Here, I'll put you right here. <laughs> so that's the outfit. And, uh, but yeah, I just had an interview. Because really, I don't, I didn't even have nothing out. And I knew I had the interview today. Um, at 3.30, so I had to leave work early at 2.30 and um, just to get here. So I had to bring all my stuff with me, so I just brought any old thing, a maroon shirt and some damn pants with some maroon in it. I couldn't find nothing that was too stylish. But you know, I got my interview nails on. Well, whatever, I didn't have time to go put my press-ons on before the interview. And I really don't like to wear nails at my job um my regular job doing phlebotomy i be having to grip that damn needle but i just wanted to tell y'all like i said grind started death started and the girl was so cool okay i mean she was cool you could tell she was a nice southern belle and she helped me out a lot and even if i can't get this job because it is overnight like i'm looking for it but it's almost seven days a week i'm like what the hell didn't i just tell y'all i ain't no slave like why do i have to keep saying that down here in georgia i feel like that's a common thing that i have to keep reminding people i'm not a slave what the fuck why would i want to work seven days a week if i only had one job let alone two i'm never doing that and then it's um you know for the orientation and for the drug screen and physical Excuse me, I have to have. Oh shit, I think I gotta go this week. I have to have two extra days off of my rip, my regular job, and I cannot keep taking time off, even though I need this job and well, I need another job and stuff like that. I cannot keep taking time off, but I'm gonna tell them tomorrow and see what they say. But she said, if not, then this other she got other connects and stuff, and that's why it's good to talk to people and. You know, be nice and and with me, I just be cracking jokes. I just be talking and people be cracking. She was like, "Girl, you is too funny." Oh my god! I'm like, "What I said?" I ain't say nothing funny. I was telling the truth. If you don't hire me, I gotta shake some ass tonight. What is gonna be, manager? And she laughing. I'm like, "So shaking ass? Is that that's what you saying?" So, but it went real good. We even hugged, y'all. I had put my hand out for a nice, firm handshake and an eye contact. She like, I feel like we could bring it in. Yes, we can. I was hoping you said that. Because you feeling like, really like my friend. Like, so that's why I had to let her know. I pretty much already knew with the hours and all of this other stuff that it probably won't work out. But I just liked her so much. Like, I gave her my... My phone number, everything. Like, she was really cool. And that's probably somebody that I could make a friend with. Even though she's a lot younger than me. But so... Oh, I can't have no young friends. Because I'm 30. I can't have no friends in their 20s. Wow, that's crazy. But I am driving and I um, need the GPS at this point. And I'm at the red light now. So, I'm about to put in my, my address so I can get home. Because I'm just driving at this point. Running out my damn gas that I don't got. So, I'm going to hit y'all back and let y'all know what's up. Good morning, y'all. So, it's the next day after my interview. Yeah, I'm looking because it's going to be patients coming in soon. It's uh, 7.40 right now. It's, what, Friday? I got a couple things I'm going to be doing this weekend. Starting with going to the Goodwill after I get off today. So, I'm going to be doing that. I'll take y'all with me to do that. And I got some other stuff that I want to show y'all that I had got from the Goodwill, too. Um... So this is basically what I do. I open um, this is the office. And so basically I just turn on the computers 
log in and everything, set up the equipment on the other side. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Hopefully nobody come up. Let's see. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, do the temperature logs. Um, get the patient logins. And just wait for the patients to come in. I was thinking about it when I was over there. I don't think I'm going to do... Um, I don't think I'm going to go to the Goodwill. Because I got so many pieces at home that I need to work on whatever so I don't think I'm gonna go to the good with you we'll see I'm gonna actually get some stuff for our apartment so I might go to the good will get some I gotta go once the patients start coming they do not be stopping I mean it'd be back to back so I just had a few patients <laughs> And everybody always be saying, you're so good. Oh, my God, you need to work here because they always hurt me. Or I didn't feel a thing. Listen, and I'm like, that's what I do. <laughs> but, no, I really do. Um, and I like my job and everything, but I just, I just can't imagine being here 30 years. I like doing what I do. I don't know if I like my job, my exact job, but I like doing what I do. Some days I like, most days I like it. So I'm not just, but it's mainly the daycare is what's driving me out of working. I ain't getting up early having these damn bags under my eyes. My bag's kind of down today though. You should, they usually be crazy. Like I don't even be, I don't even be tired. I think I was born with them. Born stressed in this world. But I'm really like been in my head and I'm just I gotta do some stuff because I'm like I, I, you know that job thing that's gonna be temporary what am I gonna do once I already come back what can I do to sustain us and never be in this position again so I know it don't seem like a big deal but for a person like me I don't be and not even a person like me because I'm getting out of like it's no excuse for anything and like I said in the last video, we make our own choices. I make my own choices in life. Like, so it ain't no excuse where you come from, where you this and that. Cause every, a lot of people come from places similar to mine. We ain't all on the same page. So obviously it's stuff that, stuff that we could be doing different and different choices that we could be making. So it's people that's worse off. It's people with more kids that's making a way. So it's possible. And it's people that don't have support. So it's possible. Nothing is impossible. Where there's a will, there's a way. And that's what it really is. And it's my it's my um organization too. It's just like sometimes I feel like I just sometimes I feel like I'm just living every day, like just going with the flow, not really having. I'm sorry, y'all. People be creeping up. It seems like as soon as you turn away, they come. But yeah, it just seemed like I just go throughout the day. It don't be no real set plan of this is what I'm going to do. This is what this. This is my goals. This is the deadline. This is the start time. This is how much time I'm giving myself. Every day I want to do this. So 
being more organized and set my life up like that, I feel like would definitely help just have a strict schedule on what we gonna do, how we gonna do it, move as a unit and just bust shit out. That's the only way. But if it ain't no set plan, you're not really talking about what you're gonna do tomorrow or what this and that, like, you just in the world, just, you know what I mean? Instead of doing, moving with a purpose. And that's my thing. I wanna move with a purpose. I wanna talk with a purpose. I wanna, everything I wanna do, I wanted to have a purpose. Not just wasting my time, wasting the day. Okay, so y'all, I'm gonna make this quick cause it's mad people outside and I had to turn my car light up. But your girl is supposed to be out here with my friend because she's supposed to be um this supposed to be her first night at the club right so i was gonna be there support her and shit just look really low-key i'm looking to see how it's gonna go shit might put my app in but see they looking already but um she ended up not even going i got there she wasn't even there like she told me she wasn't gonna come so i just end up coming to another club a little after hour or whatever Actually, when I pulled, okay, so she wasn't there, so I pulled up a little bit and turned, because I see a couple people outside this other little club. So I'm like, oh, well, maybe I could just go in there and look like it's about to be popping. But I guess wherever I was parked, that security came over. He like, yeah, how long are you going to be here? I'm like, I was actually just looking for somewhere to go. Like, I was Googling after our spots or whatever. And um, he was like, oh, well, this is the Swingers Club. I'm like, blah, blah, blah. What the fuck? Yo, the line was down the street. I'm like, yo, niggas is doing that? Like, it was black people. I'm like, oh my God. I was looking for Will and Jada. I ain't see them though. But yeah, like, mad motherfuckers was out there. I'm like, yo, they really be doing that here? That's crazy. I started backing up real quick. That's not where I want to go. But now I'm at this other place, y'all. So I got to pee so damn bad. And this is my first time drinking this whole, um year like you i don't really i don't drink at all like I, I don't drink but shit i was already out here i'm like fuck it let me just it's only a little bit i don't be getting all out of hand because i don't even like that shit anyway so it's like really one little shot to like loosen my shoulders up because a bitch be tense up in the club they be like you hey sergeant i'm like what the fuck they be like relax so that's what the shot for so um yeah i'm about to go in here i'm gonna I might get a little clizzy, but I'm not sure. And, um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. Supposed to be at the club trying to apply, but. Yeah, what? Yeah, what? Y'all hoes, let me know what you can talk. You talk a lot of shit, but let me see if you can walk. Let me see you walk. Last night though, last motherfucking night was was hitting. It was so fun. Now now my phone all greasy because I had it in my titty, and I had this oil on, and some of my Rihanna glitter. So. I went up to the club. I, th I told y'all I had went up to the club where my friend supposed to be working at to low key scope it out and see if I'm about to be up in that bitch. So, um, she ended up not going. So I was already out here. Shit, I'm at the club trying to see where she at. She talking about. I called you. I wasn't, I, I couldn't come. I'm gonna go tomorrow. So I'm like, well, I'm out here now, shit. Excuse me. Every time I do a video, I'm burping. Who am I? So I end up going to this place called the Marquette. The Marquette. A little after hour spot. They had good reviews on it. But I had started to notice, I'm like, I see mad gay dudes walking up to the club. And I see a couple straight people, and I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. This is Atlanta, so, you know, whatever. I, I don't really care. So I went in, 
and I, I feel like it was probably a, a gay club um but i had so much fucking fun oh my god they talking about okay body um saying i'm snatched i'm beautiful my body my hair my shorts they like everything about everything and i was just twerking and i never be dancing in the club like i told y'all they be calling me the sergeant but shit it was a gay club and i was just more more comfortable I was just more comfortable or whatever, so. I was out here, okay? So I'm just dancing, chilling. I looks over, I see my nephew. Like, why are you even in town? Why are you in Atlanta? And you at the club I'm at. So I'm like, yes. Which, you know, I and but they wasn't really dancing yet. They were just chilling and stuff like that. But I was out here, I was dancing. So it was nice to see him and his friend. Oh, um, and I left there probably around 3.30ish, four. I'm supposed to be going to Walmart. dolo shit i actually prefer it because it don't be no pressure on you you get to leave when you want you get to do what you want talk to who you want go where you want so i like that i really do and i had a good time i could kind of be myself more when i'm by myself opposed to a group of people or my sister or my friend whoever it's just better by myself so i definitely had a good time then I went to another after hour spot. After that. But they ended up being closed. It wasn't even open. And I can't find the ones I was going to before. It seemed like Atlanta, like, every time you Google search some shit, it'd be something new popping up. I'm like, what happened to the club I was at that was futuristic? Where is it? It was futuristic. It ain't feel like seven in the morning. So I'm like, I know they still open. Like where the fuck is it at? Or whatever. But I had a good time. I just ended up coming home. Um, and I woke up around 12, one. Cause I got home like six, six. So it was so much, it was a lot of fun. I had a good time. I love going out by myself. I seen my nephew. I was twerking. But right now, I'm about to do um, this table I had got from the Goodwill. I'm about to do that today. At least start it. But it's raining now, and I like to do my resin and stuff outside. Because that resin is chemicals. It's poison. Kind of like polyurethane. So that's not something that you would have... It's not something that you'll have like you want to do in the house or whatever so i'm gonna do that and then i guess my friend says she's gonna go to the club tonight i'm gonna think about going because i really don't i got other shit to do but see that'll be a good little job opportunity so i'm probably gonna move it bitch i can't stand drivers i'm looking right at his ass in the rear view like people crazy could have went but yeah so it was a lot of fun so about to go to walmart now because i done made coffee and it ain't no fucking sugar hello this is channel 10 hood news where we have heavy police presence in the hood we've heard over 10 20 gunshots pow 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 that's what it sounds like right over there um, and as you look to the back of me, you'll see 
multiple people outside being nosy, watching to see more gunshots and hopefully probably get hit with a stray. I have to be out here as though I am the reporter of Hood News. It's a heavy police presence, and since they were just chasing me earlier, I'm going to take my black ass in the house. The Hood said they will be back later for more, so I will keep you posted. Again, this is Channel 10 Hood News. Hey, y'all, I was just editing the video. I'm about to put it up. And then I'm just looking at me doing the hood news. Like, why is my hand like this? Why is it like that the whole time? Like, I'm touched. Something ain't right. My hand was definitely seized up like an old person or something. It's looking stupid. I haven't heard any more gunshots. It's been a few hours, but they might be waiting for dusk. Um, but I'm just gonna wrap this video up and I, I gotta start getting ready for work, get in the shower, do some shits cause I've been just sitting around. So thank you for watching another video. This is the Gap Tooth Goddess. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna tell y'all about the club. If I go to the club tonight, I'm gonna let y'all know how it went. But, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching another video.